<laughs> He'd barely been eating for three days. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the farm. I'm Amy. Let's go feed some animals.
As I was feeding up this morning, <laughs> hey honey, you may have noticed that there is one goat short. Y'all, Oreo, Oreo has passed away. Um, we, I would like you to not eat my buttons, please. Thank you, dear. If you, Annabelle, please don't eat that either. Hold on. We're going to just have a quick chat, okay? If you've been around a while, you know that Oreo has been on and off sick since I got him. Um, and he'd get something and we'd get him better, get something, get him better. Then we, he started, Annabelle, honey, then he started getting things that he wasn't getting better from. Annabelle, Annabelle. So, I'm having to hold the camera because she thinks she needs to, she can't quite reach it. She's trying to get it, get you on it. Stop, 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 stop. The first thing that Oreo struggled with was coccidia and something like that just weakened him a good bit. And so he repeatedly got sick with multiple things. Uh, the last thing that I was telling y'all about was uh, stomach worms. And so he was struggling with worms. And then um, a couple days ago, I came out here and he was down. And if y'all know anything about goats, a goat being down is not good. They don't, they don't recover well from that. Um, I'm not gonna go into all the details. I will just tell you that um, he was like, it was, it was, he was running an extremely high fever. He wasn't able to breathe well. Um, it was very fast from the night before where he was okay. He was barely eating. He'd barely been eating for three days. Um, I was having to drench and hit the baby. See if I could get some nutrients into him. He just wasn't having it. He, he didn't want nothing. He didn't have a temperature at that point. Um, he didn't show any signs of actually being sick aside from just worms like stomach worms. And so to come out here on a day that I had planned on videoing and then to find that I obviously didn't video that day. It was not a good day. And he went downhill really, really fast. And now he is no longer with us. So that is very, frustrating when you have some when you have an animal that is sick and that you spend a lot of money on to get better and they don't the spending the money part is not what's frustrating it's all the what's frustrating is failing failing to fix it you know failing to make it better Annabelle come here please stop so don't be mean to her. Um, but yeah, even though I did all the things that you can do and all the things that you're supposed to do, consulting vets and mentors and having people come check and look at him. And I, my plan, because he was so small and not, in ideal health and things. I had made the decision not to use him as a buck um, for my girls and that I was going to get him fixed or weathered. Um, and I was gonna give him to my sister who has some pet goats. That had been my plan with him. So knowing that, I hadn't shared that part, but knowing, <laughs> Knowing Annabelle, 
that tickles a little bit. Um, knowing that he wasn't going to be staying here on the farm and knowing that he was, that one hurt, don't bite me. Um, knowing that he wasn't going to be used as the daddy. Did you take my button? Hold on. Okay, we're gonna move over here for a second. Um, anyway, knowing that I hadn't planned on using him anymore as a buck, knowing that he wasn't even gonna be staying on the farm because um, I don't have the space to keep a bunch of goats for no purpose. Hey, Raja. Hi, cute kitty. Come here. Here he is. He doesn't like, <laughs> he doesn't care to be held. The other, he's not like the others. He's not, he likes to be petted, but not held. Um, anyway, I hadn't, I hadn't shared that part, but I wasn't planning on keeping him and using him here. Um, because of his you know, his health issues and his condition and his size. And um, he would have made the sweetest little pet. He was such a sweet little boy. Yep. Um, I'll share a couple of videos of him real quick. y'all yeah um it's it's always very frustrating it's sad but it's also frustrating to lose an animal an animal you tried really hard not to lose yeah it is it is but this life is that way you know this life, things happen. You can't, you can't control it all. You can't control everything. No, you can't. You can just do your best. And what happens, happens. Because loss is a part of farming. I believe the phrase goes, if you have animals, you have dead animals. Because that's, that's, it happens, you know. It's just part of it. There's a lot of new life, but there's also a loss of life. Yeah, there he is. And in our life, the lifestyle that we live here, it's not, it's different for me and for us. When you raise an animal specifically to nourish your family versus raising an animal that you had originally hoped and planned and fallen in love with, you know. I have, when I raise my animals, I love them all, but the ones that are planned for the freezer don't get, like, I don't, I don't let myself get attached to those or anything. Of course, because, you know, us, that's not what they're intended for. Um, my grow outs, my pigs that are grow outs, they don't, I don't go in there and, and hug and cuddle and love them. I take very good care of them. They do get 
some belly scratches they do which they don't really care for because they just they just don't that's just their personalities um, they're more standoffish and but they get attention not nearly as much of course as my other sows and things that stay here or my boars my boars probably get more attention than anybody um, but when you have an animal that you had planned on staying forever that you treated like a pet that you let yourself love like that those ones are hard to lose yeah they are it is part of it though it is part of life please don't chew on my boots you are something else she's special she's my special Annabelle so one of the things I was saying is that um, I didn't have the space for another weather um, which is why he was going to go to my sister's house because if you can tell this space here I have this area here and then this here and that's all that I have for goats right now so I have three in here and this is this is the space that I have at the moment uh, this pasture out here is huge <laughs> honey blossom hi baby hi honey I'll be there in a minute okay don't run away um, so we're gonna take this fence here, we're going to put a gate in, and then we're going to build out another two sections of larger pasture for the goats off of this area. When we have the funds to do it. Um, like I said, it wasn't in the budget or the plan this year. We were, had hoped to fit it into the budget and the plan for next year. Um, but, hold on, hold on, don't leave. Um, so yeah, that's why I can't have any unnecessary extra goats right now. If I had the space and the funds, y'all, there would be so many, so many pointless animals here just because I love them. Yes. And here's dirty, dirty Miss Honey Blossom. My goodness, you are muddy. Did you play in the mud? Did you play in the mud, darling? Hi, baby. She's so sweet. She's so sweet. She needs to get cleaned up. I need to brush you. She loves being brushed. Yes. It's almost pointless though because she just goes right back out. Right back out into it. <laughs> sweet girl. Yeah. Not the news that... Not news that is ever fun to share. No, it's not, but it happens. Hey, baby. Yes. And I am going to be looking into the purchase of another buck, which I had already, when I told you that I had already planned on Oreo not staying here and I hadn't shared that part yet. Um, hey. Um, I'm already looking into, not right now, but, um, in the future, bringing another buck onto the farm. And I'm not sure yet if it's going to be a baby or, where are you at, dude? Let's see you. There he is. If I'm going to do a baby or if I'm going to do like a teenager situation or something um you're wet the grass is wet huh so there will be another one at some point um my friend Miriam is probably going to be getting a buck of either Nubian and Kiko or Kiko and Boer yes dear yeah Find, figure out what you want and then let me know um, either Kiko, Boer mix, or Ow. That hurt. Yowie. Annabelle. 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 No, no. Let's not jump on us. So, um, that will be something that she would let me use 
and then I'm going to get something that she can use. She's moving into more of a meat and dairy breed like I am, like I have, except for a Batman here. He's, he is the weather here. <laughs> he's the, he's just the extra one, the precious extra one. That's why I can't have two I, right now. Y'all trust me in the future. Like I had once said before, if Willow has boys, one of them will be a weather and will stay here because it will be one of the first babies born here on Misty Dawn Farm. And so, and um, my daughter Lacey doesn't have her own goat yet, so she wants one of the babies. And so that's the plan and the hope is that by January we will be able to extend this goat area a good bit, like a lot, a lot. So I also wanna extend my pig area um, so I can do rotational grazing for all the pigs. There's a lot of plans, y'all. A lot of plans, yes. See, some plans don't work out and some plan, some blah, blah, blah. Some plans don't work out, and some plans do. And there's a lot of plans for here. A lot of plans. Yes. Don't chew on me. You're so funny. Why you got chew on everything? You're just a funny little girl. No. It's got my pinky finger. Okay. Okay. Also, y'all, I just wanted to say thank you because... YouTube is going to be one of the things that helps this farm get to where we would like it to be faster. Um, the fact that I can now be monetized here and because of y'all, I can earn money to put back onto the farm. It's really cool to know that videoing what I do here on the farm can help pay for the farm. It is. It's really cool. Not much right now. I'm still at the very, very beginning of growing. Yes, but there's, there's potential and I'm really excited about that. I'm really excited about that. Um, I have one more thing. Hold on. They're all running away. It's mama. Um, I have one other thing that I was going to share today. What is it with the camera stand and animals? Okay, so the last time I told you that little Miss Sweetie. <laughs> oh, look, Mama's got to feed you. Go over there. Well, go around the other side. There you go. Go on, sugar. You're on the wrong side, sugar. Go around. Go around. There you go. Okay, um, I told you that uh, Sweetie was going to stay here on the farm. And so the news there is that, um, no, she isn't. Because I have a couple of friends who are wanting some girls. Oh, those are my two new girls right there. Marigold and Zinnia. That's what the kids named them. Those came from the Chicken Daddy farm. They're going to be my buff Brahmas. I have a one buff Brahma, but they're my two other ones. Um, so, I have two friends who were, one of them wants one girl and the other one wanted to get a pair because she doesn't have any coonies at all. Coonies need companions and so she didn't want to get just one. She wanted to get two and she wanted two girls and then the other friend already has coonies. The other friend, um, Julie, she is the one that got Theodore. So one of these girls, which is completely unrelated to Theodore, will go be his other girlfriend. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to not keep back one of these. That was not very long, Mama. That's it? 
See how she lays on her belly? She's like, that's it, I'm done. They don't need more, y'all. Look at those fat little things. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to not keep one back this time. I really appreciate all the names. If I had chosen one of the names, um, I think I would have either gone with Izzy or Ingrid. I like those two names the most, I think. Um, but we're gonna let her new family name her. And what I'm gonna do instead is when I pair Indy and Domino together, then that will be the next litter I have planned. And one of those babies is what I will hold back. So if you watched my previous video, you know that the reason I was gonna hold one back is was because I'm not gonna be breeding peaches again, either for a couple of years or at all. We're gonna see how her heat cycles go and how she does to make that decision. Um, but I wanna be able to have two sows here. And, oh, she's over there. I was like, there's only four. She's over, little sugar's over by the fence. Um, so, but I do have Indy. And Indy's going to be my, she's came from Carlisle Acres. And I'm gonna breed her in January to Domino. He's also from Carlisle Acres, but they're unrelated. Um, and so those are gonna be my two that will be having a spring litter of piglets. And I am excited. I think they're gonna be absolutely gorgeous babies. And I'm gonna hold back one from there. But that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. Yes. And y'all, sweetie is not like she's going far at all. Whichever friend picks her, Julie or Courtney, there's like, Courtney is like right at a minute down the road. And then Julie, she's just six miles up the road too. So they're not going far and I can still show you as they grow if you want. They, I'm getting little videos. They're my, they're going with my friends. So, you know, it's not like they're going away and I'll never see them again. So it's fine. It's fine. And y'all, when you have friends with litters, sometimes, sometimes you're like, you know what? That baby of yours is so adorable. I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. That's, that's how it works with friends. So like if they, if miss whichever one goes and has babies with Theodore, I might just say, oh, you know what? Guess what? <laughs> that one's coming back to the farm because you know, that's just how it goes sometimes. Thanks for hanging out with me this morning, y'all. Until next time, keep on the sunny side.